Southern Methodist kicks off to Notre Dame before a crowd of 45,000. Sinclair takes the pigskin for an off-tackle smash, but he fumbles and the Mustangs get the ball down near Pater. And after a few plays, Johnson plunges six yards for a touchdown. The Irish come right back though. Stevenson's long pass deep into Mustang territory to Kerr is ruled complete because of interference. And on the next play, it's Harry Stevenson again with a quick pass to Zantini in the end zone. The Mustangs kick up their heels again. And after a sustained drive into the second period, mostly by stocky Bob Erberger, Bob Belleville gets the ball for a nice lateral to Erberger. And Erberger races around to score. Again, the Irish arise in their wrath. O'Malley makes a beautiful 30-yard gain. Next, O'Brien takes it for the Irish and moves the ball along. Finally, O'Malley takes it over to tie up the score again and is the crowd wild. The Irish stage another drive in the third period. Schwartz takes it wide around end and a run good for 10 yards or more. The ball goes to O'Malley again, and he turns the play into another Irish touchdown that puts the game on ice. The roads of France are one-way streets. To the front these days for thousands of British troops. Not far away, the two high commanders, the French General Gamelin and General Vicomte Gort, meet to cook up a little deviltry to annoy the Nazi defenders of the Siegfried Line. And there's the Duke. Who calls it sunny France? Sir Kingley Wood, British Air Minister, is here too. He flew over, but he could have used a submarine. However, rain or no rain, he finds everything hotsy totsy and even sees a soccer game between British and French airmen. War or no war, Saturday night is boff night in this man's army. Also, armies still do a lot of moving on foot, but these boys are taking no chances with their tootsies. Meanwhile, there's work to do. Reconnaissance and attack missions over the German line. Speedy pursuit ships off to give battle with Nazi raiders. And when they return, they bring ample evidence in the shape of bullet holes that this war is not all a matter of deep dugouts and practice flights. <laughs> 